numbers from public health officials tonight who are reporting an 80% increase in new COVID infections. That's just since last week. The majority of those cases are being attributed to the highly contagious Delta variant. New infections exceed 3,000 cases today, and that is up from 2,500 cases the past two days. Hospitalizations are also spiking, hitting 655 today. Health officials say 20% of L.A. County's COVID cases in June were among the vaccinated. While the illness is generally milder in those who have been inoculated, health officials are urging vaccinated residents to take precautions given how widely the virus is cir circulating. We've got live team coverage on the surge in COVID cases. And we begin with KTLA's Carlos Acedo live in Hollywood with more on the worsening conditions. Carlos. That's right. There are more than 600 people currently hospitalized in L.A. County because of COVID-19. And tonight, as we continue to see cases on the rise, there's growing concern that a third booster shot might be necessary because of just how contagious the Delta variant has become. For the first time since mid-February, L.A. County reported more than 3,000 new COVID cases on Friday. And as cases accelerate, public health officials say that unvaccinated people are becoming infected at five times the rate of transmission of just one month ago. If I could give one message right now, don't wait. Get vaccinated as soon as possible. Dr. Oren Friedman is an ICU physician at Cedar sinai where he says he's seen signs of things worsening. What's particularly scary particularly concerning about some of the ICU patients we're seeing now is that they are young and healthy. And that wasn't necessarily the case uh, on some of the previous surges. This Southern California man in his 30s who openly mocked vaccines on Twitter died after being hospitalized with COVID at a different hospital. He had posted having 99 problems, but a vax ain't one. As the more contagious Delta variant spreads rapidly around the country, some doctors fear that people with weakened immune systems may remain vulnerable to COVID-19, even after being fully vaccinated. At this point, U.S. health officials and medical experts continue to say there is no scientific case for boosters. I think it's very possible we're going to get there. Obviously, there's a lot of scientific and biological plausibility why it may make sense, and there's counter arguments why it may not need it. So, you know, I think from that standpoint, just wait, waiting for more information. In the meantime, the New York Times is reporting there is growing consensus within the Biden administration that at least some vulnerable Americans will need a booster. Israel has already started offering a third Pfizer shot to those who are immunocompromised. And an official stress that this doesn't mean that vaccines are not working, rather that an accurate dosing count is still in the works and could take some time. That's the latest in Hollywood. I'm Carlos Alcedo for KTLA 5 News. Carlos, thank you. A local trip, a local family's trip to the Bahamas, rather, becomes a cautionary tale for people that are traveling during this pandemic, even for those who are fully vaccinated. The family from Beverly Hills says that they had a wonderful time.